Welcome to my hands-on session on virtual data center creation in Open Nebula. First of all, let's see what is VDC, virtual data center. So it acts like a container. And the use of this container is for, which is for running for VMs. And second one, this is the way to hide physical resources from the group members. And third, it is used to partition partition we can partition the cluster into sub-clusters at the advantage then why we go for in an organization there may be any number of business units. So we wanted to isolate the resources between one business unit to another business unit. Now let's go and see how we can do this. Go down to your system and select VDC for creating a virtual data center. Select the symbol plus, then give the name of your virtual data center. Here, I let's say web server. Okay, let's say web server. Say web server production. That's my virtual data center name. And just create it. My web production got created. So come inside that and go to the resources section. And there is no resources allocated to that. Now go and select update. In this Go down to the resources. Now select the cluster which we have created in the previous video. So web server cluster I have selected. And what is the advantage here is I can create select more than one cluster as well. And here I have selected the web server cluster. And come down to your group. There is no group so far. So let me create a group now. So let's say I'm just creating a group. Web production team and let's create it and select the web production team now and select users there is no users so go down to users and say web production team admin okay and give a password for your admin. Get it and select your user. Then select the group. You see this user belongs to default users group. I just wanted to change it. Select the groups and select the group as the production team group and apply changes now you can see that the group got updated right and again go down to your vdc select the vdc which we have created just now that is for production 
Now we go to the group. There is no groups available so far. Now we can update the group. Now select the group name as a production team. That's a group we have selected. Update it. This group it has a WPT admin that is web production team admin. Okay, now let's see once we log in as this admin, what are his privileges? Sign out and say WPT admin and log in. Oh he don't have any control over it he can simply see what are the virtual machines running and he can operate with that but and also he can create virtual machine and templates whatever available he can use it and what are the services allotted he can use it now just log out and again log in as one admin Now go to again your VDC, select production, go to the group and go to your user. This user is not made as an admin, so go to this and to make this user as administrator user, select edit administrators. Now we have to select one user from the list. So I'm designating this user as an admin and say apply. Now you can see that a star prefixed in front of the user. This denotes this typical user is an admin user. Okay, now update the changes. It's done. And again, let me log out. And log in as me and do the transfer. Oh, he's still not letting it log out and log in as let me. System BDC yeah, it's updated. Okay, now let's set quota. So the quota enables the administrator to restrict the use of the resources. So let's say here I'm just going to set this group can run how many number of virtual machines let's say three so that they can run only three virtual machines cpu and all those things beside it depends on the flavor they have or the image requirement which they are going to run it's all set using a template and the template creation already we have discussed in the previous videos now let's go down to the user okay fine everything is done so update it finally i have to do the update so not only it will reflect let's say once again login wpt admin 